All right, so one of the things that trip a lot of people up when they open up these windows is how to access the weights. Wait, these windows have weights? Yes, they have weights. That's the really cool thing about them is that they have weights and they're just and they're waiting inside behind this wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a little door, all right? Because the last thing we wanna do is take the window all apart just to access the weights, okay? Can't so, wait any longer. Can't wait any longer. But you're gonna have to wait until I get this plugged in. I know the sash is 34 and a quarter tall. Let's sash the bottom sash, okay? And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the door, I'm gonna locate the door where the bottom sash will cover, okay? And the bottom sash, let's say 34 and a quarter high, that's the top of my bottom sash. So I'm gonna put my door somewhere in here and I'm just gonna pick some numbers that's gonna allow me to be consistent from leg to leg. And this is this is my leg, all right? So I'm just gonna pick, uh, let's pick six and 24. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna do six and 24 on the other side. Boom, okay. So this one goes, this window stop goes here. So and I've got a space here that's gonna allow me to make a cut. So I'm gonna cut right behind where this stop is gonna go. Okay, see that? Like that. And I'm also gonna make a cut right here where this parting bead goes. So that way, these two cuts are covered and concealed, okay? And I'm gonna use this saw here. And now, I will say, I don't recommend that everybody use this saw. I'm, I'm unusually comfortable with a circular saw, okay? Another tool that you could use is a jigsaw, all right? To make this cut, it's a little bit easier to maneuver and handle. Um, but if you if you're good with a circular saw, this is a really good method, and you'll see why in about two seconds. One, two. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy, this oscillating tool. See how that works? Jingle Jingle all the way. Right. So, and I'm going to make two cuts. Okay, I'm going to make one here and one there. And they're going to be at opposing angles. This one is going to, the bottom cut is going to be an upward angle. And the top cut is going to be at a downward angle. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create me a trapezoidal shape that will then allow me to put it back on in the future, okay? Without it uh, fussing too much, okay? So just so you know, that I'm gonna go to upward angle here and a downward angle there. So my door is gonna look, you know, something like this shape, okay? I mean, you know, so. I'll just start here again.
little door there. It goes right back on. It comes right off to reveal my weights. Okay. And those have just been waiting right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of them real quick. So that's how you access the weights, right? If you don't have any doors, you just make your own doors. going to cut some rope. People say, how long do you cut your rope? Well, about as long as the jam is. Excellent. So now, we got eight pieces here all together though, so I'm just going to cut the timber off real quick. You got a step stool in here? Okay. Okay. Now I got in my hand, tie a bunch of knots like that. Okay, this is called a figure eight. This is called a mouse, and when you can't get a, um, you can't get a rope to go through, you can attach, attach to a mouse or a chain or a, this is a weight. It allows it to find its way down to the bottom. I was going to fit these sashes, but that's kind of fizzle. Come on, I got that there. And this, boom. Yeah, sometimes you're not tall enough to reach the knot. You're just not tall enough. Yep. So, there is a hook, right? This will really grab you. I'm going to grab that knot with my hook. See that? Ta -da, ta -da. Okay. Here's my blue tape. Put my doors back on real quick. One, two, three, four. And this is something that I can do with my eyes closed. And really, it doesn't matter if my eyes are closed anyway because I can't really see what I'm doing. Well, you have to understand what I really mean. I'm going to put these doors back on, okay? I'm going to use this blue tape. Hmm. I guess we have to work on the paint here. Well, maybe it'll work. Okay, put some blue tape on there. Turn it over. Grab some cheap caulk, okay? Pookie up the ends. All right, boom. Then I'm gonna take and put my door right back here. And this is why I can do it with my eyes closed, is because I have to feel that my joint here is lining up. I can feel it with my fingers, okay? So. It's all about feelings. Sometimes feelings are important. Okay. 
And then in about an hour that caulking will set up, I can take my blue tape off. I can just keep on going. And it's best if it's scraped already because man, that's really, really good. All right. Good thing the sash is already painted. That's just the coolest thing ever. Oh. All right, so the window, so that is a reconstructed window, back together. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we still have a little bit of, we got a, you know, got a lot more paint work to do and stuff like that. You know, we'll get it. Done. 